lavish party, all for my sake. If only Father was this willing to spend the Crown's money on things of importance. Our kingdom's poor wouldn't be starving to death while the wealthy stuffed their faces. <sighs> he found me sooner than I expected. Good evening, Your Majesty. I trust you're in high spirits? <laughs> I'm not hiding. What reason would I have to do such a thing? I was merely looking at just how many people have come to celebrate my birthday. It's truly humbling. No, Father, I haven't forgotten. I'm highly aware that the purpose of all of this is for me to find a bride. You have reminded me of that for weeks now. Of course I haven't forgotten Mother's last wish. I was the one with her when she died. I shouldn't have said that. This is all just so overwhelming. All I need is a few moments to collect myself. Then I will join everyone downstairs. Thank you. I'll not take much longer, I promise. Can't believe I'm about to talk about a painting. I haven't done this in years. Hello, Mother. I know it's been a while. God, I feel so foolish. I wish you were actually here. I could really use your advice. I'm sorry, but... I can't fulfill your last wish. Marrying for love isn't in the cards for me. Not unless she decides to reappear after all this time. I've waited six years for her. My beautiful Cinderella. <laughs> to think I've held on to such naive hope for so long. Wishing day after day she'd come back to me. I would wait forever if I could just see her smile again. However, our time has run out. I do not think I will ever stop pining for her mother. But I must let her go tonight. And along with her, my hope for marrying the woman I love. Please forgive me. <clears throat> good evening, Duke Merritt. It's good to see you again. Uh, no, I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting your daughter before. It's a pleasure, Lady... L Lady Ainsley, <laughs> you look absolutely stunning tonight. Well, of course I will save a dance for you, my lady. <laughs> Forgive me, but I must excuse myself. There are others I need to greet as well. Lady Hanson, I'm so glad you could make it. <laughs> has barely begun, and yet I am utterly exhausted. Thank God I managed to slip away for a few moments alone. I wonder how angry Father would be if I were to excuse myself. 
I've danced with a few women. Surely that's enough to satisfy him for tonight. Though even if it isn't, I, I, I don't think I can bring myself to suffer through much more. So many women, and yet not one has spoken to me as a person. All they see is the prince. Yes, I do believe taking my leave early will do me some good. Sorry, father. Now that I know what to expect, I can better prepare for tomorrow night. Your Majesty, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. I know that scent. Rain and vanilla. It can't be. What was that, Father? Oh, yeah, yes, I had something I wanted to talk to you. On second thought, we can, we can speak of it later. Please excuse me, Your Majesty. Miss! Miss! Please wait. Please forgive my boldness, but have we... You're wearing a mask. Why? <laughs> this is not a masquerade ball. You wish to stand out. Oh, allow me to assure you your plan worked. Though... I am confused. This is the first time tonight I, I recall seeing you. Oh, I see. You've just arrived. Good. It's a relief to know I'm not that oblivious, after all. Allow me to apologize for rushing after you. I, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't give you a fright. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I suppose you should be thanking me for running after you like a storybook prince. <laughs> There is a reason I followed you. Have we met before, my lady? Are you sure? Because your scent is very familiar to me. It's not one I smell often either. I'd like to make it up to you for mistaking you with someone else. I humbly request you be my partner for the next dance. You can always refuse, you know. Just because I'm a prince doesn't mean you have to do as I wish. Thank you. What is your name, my lady? I know I should have asked sooner, but I was a bit... distracted. You're going to leave me in suspense like this? Fine then. I suppose I will just have to think of something to refer to you by. I think I found one I rather like. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, lady. 
Belladonna. You keep looking around the room. Are you looking for someone? Did you arrive here with a companion? I'm sorry to hear you came alone. A beautiful girl like you shouldn't have to attend a party without a partner. No, I'm not smiling. Well, maybe I am, but only because that means I do not have to give up my exceptional dancing partner. I'm only slightly exaggerating, but the sentiment is still true. You are one of the only women who hasn't stepped on my toes tonight. I suppose my charm and personality must have distracted the others. Would you care to be my partner for another dance, Lady Belladonna? Must you leave so soon? You just arrived. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready to lose you. Th that came out wrong. Uh, what I meant was... I, I, I want to dance with you again. Do you plan on coming back tomorrow night? Good. That's good. I'll be eagerly wait awaiting your arrival, my lady. Until then, may you have a safe trip back home. <laughs> How did I not see this coming? I should have known everyone would start wearing masks as well after seeing me dance with Lady Belladonna last night. <sighs> I shouldn't have been so obvious with my interest in her. It's going to be much harder to spot her in the crowd now. I can't possibly sniff around until I find a woman smelling of rain and vanilla. <sighs> okay. I need to relax. <sighs> she didn't even show up until well after the party had started last night. If she arrives later again, that will give me some time to weed through the others. Uh, good evening, your majesty. <clears throat> My apologies, I, I didn't hear you approaching. Is there something you wanted to discuss? Everything's fine, father. I just, there's a lot on my mind. I am taking this seriously. I have been from the start of this ridiculous plan. You only know about Mother's last wish because her nurse told you. You weren't even there. But I was. I was the one holding her hand when she took her final breath. I'm the one who hears her words echoing through my head day after day. This conversation is over. Enjoy the ball, your majesty. If he truly cared about what mother wanted, he would have taken action years ago. He probably started thinking about me marrying someone because he noticed I had no interest in finding a bride. Can't let his only child go unwed now, can he? Not when he needs to secure the line of succession. Oh, ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I, are you all right? I was lost in my own thoughts, and I, I just didn't notice. Lady Belladonna. <laughs> of course I recognize you. I told you that you have a very distinct scent. 
with that, and I did spend a decent amount of time looking at what facial features your mask does show. I'm glad we ran into each other so quickly. I was dreading having to search for you in this sea of copycats. Would you like to go somewhere less crowded? Yours is the only company I want to keep at the moment. The honor is mine, my lady. Go out the double doors on the right of the ballroom and wait for me in the garden. I will be along shortly. Because it's best we aren't seen leaving together or someone is sure to follow. Go, go. That's a good girl. <laughs> Perfect. All I need is an excuse and a mask. I think I'll make my way over to the refreshments table. Mm. What to choose? Everything looks so delicious. Ah, Duke Merritt. How are you enjoying yourself this evening? Oh, I'm happy to hear that. I see you've removed your mask. I hope it's not too difficult to eat with it on. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. I'll request finger foods that are easier to eat with one on for tomorrow. For tonight, however... Huh, I can't seem to make up my mind. Our royal chefs appear to have outdone themselves. Do you have any suggestions? The raspberry scones. Mm. That does sound tempting. Thank you, Duke Merritt. I think I will have one. Oh, how is Lady Ainsley tonight? What mask is she wearing? I enjoyed dancing with her last night and would like to ask for... Oh, God damn it all. <sighs> Please forgive my language, Duke Merritt. Some of the jam from the scone got onto my waistcoat. <sighs> of all the nights to wear the white one as well. Will you do me a favor? If His Majesty comes by asking where I've gone before I've returned, please let him know I'll be back. I, I just need to change out of this. <laughs> you have my thanks. <laughs> it was far easier than expected. The poor man didn't even notice I took his mask while he wasn't looking. I'll have to hide my coat somewhere it won't be found. Ah, this alcove should hide it nicely. There. No one should see it before I'm able to retrieve it in the morning. Now all I need to do is make sure this mask is securely in place. Deep breaths. There's no need for me to be nervous. Everything will be perfect.
forgive me. Lady Belladonna, I hope I didn't make you wait for too long. <laughs> ah, yes, the mask. I managed to swipe it after ruining a very nice white waistcoat. Oh, don't feel bad. It was a sacrifice I was willing to make if it meant getting alone time with you. Scandalous as it might be. Speaking of avoiding scandals, I know a place nearby where we will be easily hidden. The last thing I want is to risk harm to your reputation if we're caught together. There is something I want to clarify. I didn't ask you to be alone with me so I could try anything. I truly do want to talk to you. I find your sharp wit refreshing. Nothing more is going to happen between us. Not without your clear consent. Why, why are you laughing? Did I say something? You think I'm cute? Never called me cute before. We're here. Don't worry, no one comes this far into the gardens at night, so we shouldn't be disturbed. But if you are having second thoughts, we can always go back to the party. No need to glare at me, I was simply giving you another option. It is peaceful, isn't it? I tend to come out here when I have trouble sleeping at night. The sounds of the water and the nocturnal animals are oddly soothing. You know, the more I talk with you, the more you remind me of someone from my past. The way you talk. How you carry yourself. <laughs> and the way you smell, yes. You're what I imagined she'd be like as a woman. Yes, it is a very good thing. I promise you. She was my first love. My only love. 